In March 2025, BYD made a groundbreaking announcement. The Chinese automaker revealed a new technology that could well shake up the entire electric vehicle industry. Already making waves worldwide, BYD is emerging as a serious competitor to Elon Musk's Tesla, and their latest move has everyone talking. The buzz centers around BYD's cutting-edge hybrid system set to launch in 2025 called the 5th Generation DMI. It's a breakthrough that could outshine today's technology and honestly, transform the EV market. So, what is the 5th Generation DMI hybrid system? Simply put, it's BYD's signature hybrid technology, combining both an electric motor and a petrol engine. For shorter everyday trips, the electric motor takes the lead, keeping things clean and efficient. For longer drives or when the battery runs low, the petrol engine kicks in seamlessly. The fifth-generation version launched in May 2024 is BYD's most advanced yet. When running on petrol, the system consumes only 2.9 liters per 100 kilometers, which is an incredibly low figure. Add in the astonishing combined range of up to 2,100 kilometers on a full tank and fully charged battery, and you've got a vehicle that can go from New York to Miami and back without stopping once for gas or charging. This is possible thanks to a dedicated 1.5-liter turbocharged engine paired with BYD's renowned blade battery, known for its durability and safety. Combine that with high-performance electric motors and advanced silicon carbide power chips, and the result is a hybrid system that's efficient, powerful, and built for the future. Compared to Toyota's well-regarded hybrid systems, BYD's DMI-5 pushes things further, delivering lower fuel consumption and a longer electric-only range. No wonder it's becoming a favorite not just in China, but globally. Beyond performance, it's greener, cutting carbon emissions while making sustainable driving more practical. Now, let's talk about how BYD's fifth-generation DMI is shaping the future of electric vehicles. The world is racing towards sustainability, and EVs are at the center of this transformation. But for many drivers, going fully electric still feels like a leap. Whether it's the fear of running out dumbing out of charge, high upfront costs, or limited charging stations, that's where BYD's hybrid system changes the game. With its impressive 2,100-kilometer range, smart hybrid setup, and affordable price, the DMI makes electrified vehicles accessible to more people than ever before. One of the biggest barriers to electric vehicle adoption is range anxiety. This is especially true for drivers in regions with patchy charging infrastructure, like parts of Southeast Asia, South America, or even some rural areas in Europe and Australia. BYD's hybrid system completely eliminates that worry. And speaking of affordability, the DMI isn't just about going farther, it's about making cleaner driving affordable. Fully electric cars can be pretty expensive, often tens of thousands more than petrol cars. But BYD is changing that. Their hybrids are not only greener, but also cheaper. Take the BYD SEAL 05 DMI for example. In China, it starts at a competitive price, making it as affordable or even cheaper than many gasoline-powered cars. This affordability is a big deal, especially when you pair it with government incentives in places like China and Europe. Subsidies and tax breaks are really pushing more people to go green. By lowering the financial barrier, BYD is making it easier for everyday drivers to join the EV revolution. Now, hybrids like the DMI also serve as the perfect stepping stone between traditional petrol cars and fully electric vehicles. Not everyone is ready to go all in on EVs, whether it's because of cost, charging infrastructure, or simply the comfort of filling up at a gas station, the DMI bridges that gap offering the efficiency and electric driving experience of an EV with the reassurance of a petrol engine for those longer trips. This flexibility is absolutely key in regions where charging networks are still developing. No surprise then, that BYD's hybrids are gaining traction in places like Thailand, Brazil and Australia, where drivers want greener options but still need practicality. In the United States, surveys show many drivers actually prefer hybrids over fully electric cars. This trend is pushing companies like Toyota, Hyundai and BYD to double down on hybrid technology. While Tesla continues to focus only on EVs, hybrids are proving especially popular in regions where charging stations are still limited. BYD's DMI system found in models like the SEAL 07 and Tang DMI is really raising the bar. These hybrids are fast, stylish, and equipped with advanced features like Urban Navigate on Autopilot, which allows for semi-autonomous city driving. Toyota and Hyundai are also rolling out competitive hybrids, and their lower prices are making customers think twice about Tesla's lineup. 
This growing demand could shift the balance in markets like Asia and Latin America. Global trade also plays a role. In the United States, high tariffs are keeping Chinese-made cars like BYDs out of the market, which benefits Tesla since it still holds a strong share of EV sales. In Europe, tariffs exist too, but BYD is working around them by building factories locally. At the same time, Tesla's sales in the region have slowed, creating opportunities for other automakers to step in. In China, Tesla's second biggest market, sales dipped in early 2025, while BYD and other local brands gained ground by offering advanced features at more affordable prices. Cars like Xiaomi's SU7 sedan are even emerging as popular alternatives to Tesla's Model 3. Tesla also faces challenges with its lineup. The Model Y and Model 3 have not seen major updates in years. While rivals like BYD and Hyundai are rolling out fresh designs, Tesla's promised affordable EV codename Redwood isn't expected until mid-2025, leaving competitors more time to expand. Tesla's focus on autonomous driving technology, such as its robo-taxi project, could also draw attention away from the need for affordable, practical cars that everyday customers want. Looking ahead, Tesla needs to move quickly. Lowering prices could make its cars more competitive, but that comes at the cost of profits. A refreshed Model Y and the launch of the Redwood EV could help, but timing is critical. Expanding gigafactory operations in Europe and offering more budget-friendly models could also win back buyers. In China, Tesla may need to collaborate with local tech firms to better compete with the advanced features offered by brands like BYD. The competition between electric vehicles and hybrids is far from over and the choices available to consumers are expanding at an unprecedented rate. This dynamic shift in the automotive landscape means that the future of transportation will likely be diverse with different technologies coexisting to meet the varied needs of drivers across the globe. For some, a fully electric car is the perfect solution, while for others, a hybrid provides the ideal balance of efficiency, convenience, and peace of mind. BYD's continued innovation in the hybrid space demonstrates a clear understanding of these diverse consumer demands. By refining a technology that addresses practical concerns like range and infrastructure, they're not just selling cars, they're really facilitating a broader transition to more sustainable mobility. The success of their strategy is evident in their growing global presence and the increasing pressure on established industry leaders. The coming years will be crucial in determining the pace and direction of this transition. This challenge is compounded by the full-scale entry of traditional automotive giants into the EV race, leveraging their vast manufacturing experience, brand loyalty, and extensive dealership networks. Further complicating the landscape are geopolitical factors like international tariffs, which reshape market access and a discernible shift in customer demand. Despite these mounting pressures, Tesla is not without its own formidable strengths. The company retains a deeply loyal fan base, a brand that's synonymous with electric innovation, and a technological lead in areas like powertrain efficiency and its ambitious autonomous driving projects. Its early mover advantage has also resulted in an extensive supercharger network that remains a significant asset for Tesla to maintain its position as a major player in the global market. A strategic pivot appears necessary. This would involve a heightened focus on finally delivering on its promise of a truly affordable mass market vehicle to expand its reach beyond the premium segment coupled with a timely and meaningful refresh of its core lineup, the Model Y and Model 3, which have begun to show their age against a wave of new rivals. The central question, therefore, is no longer simply about which automaker will lead, but about the very direction of automotive propulsion. BYD's success with its DMI technology powerfully demonstrates that for a massive global population, hybrids might represent the most practical and powerful bridge to the future. This technology delivers a compelling mix of exceptional fuel efficiency, the elimination of range anxiety, and critical affordability, making sustainable driving accessible to millions today rather than in a distant fully electric tomorrow. The future of driving is thus shaping up to be pluralistic, not monolithic. So, what do you think? As we stand at this crossroads, are hybrids the real future of driving for the global masses or merely a transitional technology on the inevitable road to full electrification? Share your thoughts in the comments.